So we've seen distributing a power over a product. Now we're going to look at if I'm distributing it over a quotient, over a fraction. What happens in that case? So for any real numbers, A and B in that first little box, first of all with fractions, what can't happen? The denominator cannot be equal to zero. It can never divide by zero. Then, if I have a power on the outside, I give it to the top and I give it to the bottom. And if there's products involved, we have to distribute to every single term, just like we've been doing. So let's look at a few. I am raising this fraction to the third power, so I have to give it both to the top, every term involved, and to the bottom, every term that's involved. And we can simplify these. So when I'm raising a power to a power, I multiply the exponents. And again, 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 6 to 4. Positive powers, simplified. Second one. Now, as I give my power to the top, I'm going to have to distribute to each of these terms as well because I have a product involved. So, as we distribute to each of them, what are we looking at? 3 squared a raised to the 8th over b to the 6th. And we can simplify 3 squared. What does that evaluate to? 9 a to the 8th, b to the 6th. Positive power, positive power, taken care of. For the next one, again, distribute to the top and distribute 4 to the bottom. And as we start to simplify these, numerator is going to have a positive exponent. We're looking at y to the 8th. And then down below, what's going to happen? We have to distribute 4 to first 2 and to z to the negative 5th. So when I multiply those, what am I looking at? Start simplifying. I've got y to the 8th, 2 to the 4th is 16, and I'm going to have z to the negative 20th. Because when we raise a power to a power, we multiply them. But is that simplified? We still have this negative power down below. And again, what is the base to that negative 20? What is attached to it? Just the z, not 16. So he's going to stay where he is, but z to the negative 20 is going to go where? Up top, and he'll be positive. z raised to the positive 20th all over 16. And is it simplified? Do we have positive powers? Yes and we evaluated all of the exponents that we could. Okay. Last one, part D. Again, distributing negative 2, the power, to both the top and the bottom. This is one route that we can go. We'll show you the next one later. So when I raise a power to a power, I have to multiply those. And... We already distributed it to the bottom and simplified it a little bit. They're both negative. So what needs to happen to make those exponents positive? Where is y to the 6 going to have to go? Down here. It's reciprocal. And where is 5 to the negative 2 going to have to go? Flipping it up, 5 to the positive 2, which is 25 over y. So this is just one route that we can go. Or, last little part, when we raise a quotient to a negative power. So when I have a over b raised to the negative n, I can look at the reciprocal of the insides first. Since I know they're going to flip upside down, instead of working through all of this, I can flip the insides and make my power positive. I can look at the reciprocal, like we've been doing each of these times. Reciprocal going up top. So, part D, how else could it, been, could it have been evaluated? So, in the beginning, this is what we have. And I have a negative power on the outside. So, I can look at the reciprocal of the inside, flipping it upside down, and making a positive power now. 
same thing we've always been doing. If it's negative power, look at the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of the inside, flipping it upside down, making my power positive. And now as we distribute, do we get this same thing in the end? 5 squared is 25. And y to the third squared. So raising the power to a power, we multiply those. Did we get the same? We got the same. This one's a lot faster. But this one will still work. So if you have a negative on the outside of a fraction, we can look at the reciprocal of the inside and make it positive, evaluate it that way. So go ahead and take A through E on the next page, simplify those, express your answers with positive exponents. What happened with the first? We're raising a power to a power, so we multiply those. So my base is 3 and I'm raising it to the 20th power. We don't have to worry about some fine, it's going to be really large. We don't really care about that right this minute. For part B, what had to happen? I'm looking at a quotient, so I have to give it to both the top, raising the power to the power, we multiply, and down below. So as we simplify, I'm looking at x to the 12th over 25. Positive power, we had a positive power up there, so we didn't have to move anything around. Simplified as far as we can go. For part C, again, distributing to every single term of the product. So I'm looking at 5 squared, raising a power to a power, multiply. Raising a power to a power, multiply. Raising a power to a power, multiply. But in this case, not simplified as far as we can go, because I still have negative exponents. And 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25. x to the 10th is going to stay where he is since it's a positive power. We don't have to move him. But where is y negative 12 going to go? To look at the reciprocal, making our power positive. And z to the negative 6, he's going to have to move downstairs as well. Positive powers, we've simplified all of the exponents that we can evaluate. Done. For part D, a few different ways that we can go. It doesn't matter if you look at the reciprocal first or if you distribute negative 3 in. It's not going to matter. So my first question, so as I look to distribute negative 3, the power, to negative 1. So it's going to be an odd power. In the end, is our answer going to be positive or negative? going to be negative, we want to keep that in mind, and when I distribute negative 3 that power to 8, I'm raising a power to a power, so I multiply them, looking at negative 24, and we need to simplify this. So, my negative power here, its base is y, not negative y, so, we're going to have negative 1 over y raised to the positive 24th. Let's make it look more like a power. There we go. And you could assign that negative down below if you want. Still equivalent if you say 1 over negative y to the 24th. Because when I have a negative number, what are my options for a fraction? Up top or down below. For part E couple different ways you can go again, but I have a negative on the outside and a fraction on the inside. So I'm going to go the quick route. I can look at the reciprocal of the inside, flipping it upside down, making my power positive now. Now I just distribute like normal. 3 squared is going to give me 9, and x raised to the fourth raised to the second. Raising a power, 2 power, we multiply. And if you distributed negative 2 into each of them, then took care of making the powers positive, you get the same answer.